And hello once again everyone, uh, this is Elizabeth of Lady of Time Cosplay here, and it's time once again for my monthly update vlog. So it's been kind of a quiet month um, in terms of cosplaying and working on costumes, uh, just because it's been so hot outside still, um, and a lot of the stuff that I've had to be working on is outside still. I have gotten the first stage of my uh, second go at Rivers helmet and the base for the Silence and Library Forest to bit add cosplay done, which basically means I've gotten the fiberglass cloth done and the resin done. I've still got a bit of sanding before I move on to the next stage. The next stage is um, just going over it with car body filler, which will hopefully make it a little bit smoother of a surface and it'll give it a little bit more structure as well as uh, thickening it up a little bit so it doesn't look, you know, as paper thin as it does right now. But it's pretty sturdy, so I'm, I'm very happy about that. I'm um, just excited that this costume is moving along as it is. I mean, there's less than 200 days till the Gallifrey one. <laughs> Once I finish actually constructing the helmet and the base and everything, then I'm going to worry about the lights and everything. Um, I haven't really... I've looked a little bit into it, but I haven't really looked into it just because I can't think about that right now until this gets done and I've got a couple other things coming up that I just want to get through first and then I'll worry about that. But hopefully... Once it, all the car body fillers on it and it's sanded and painted and everything, hopefully that, then I can work on it inside because it's it's hot out there. Also, though, okay, technically I worked on it this month or well, just a couple days ago. Um, but I did it before I filmed the vlog for this month, so I'm gonna count it anyways. I worked on Ray some more as well, as you might have seen if I don't know if if you're looking into Ray cosplay. Um, McCall's did put out a pattern for Ray. Um, which is nice. It, it came a little late for me to use it for the, the shirt and the pants and everything since I already had gotten those done, but I did manage to get it on sale for a decent price. So I bought it mainly just so I could use it, uh, the pattern for the belt and the cuff that she wears. And that worked out wonderfully. I'm very happy because I wasn't sure what I was going to do for those. Like I had ideas, but I wasn't entirely sure. So I'm very happy that those came out. I might put up another video um, just as like a kind of tutorial thing for anyone else who might be using the the McCall's pattern for Ray, just because the cuff, the instructions, here I'll show you. So hopefully you can see that. It just says uh, something like fold as shown or whatever, which it's not very clear what to do. Um, I was able to figure it out eventually after staring at it and the picture on the front of the envelope for quite some time. But I might put up a video just so that people can uh, know how to do it more easily because it's, it's not very clear. I mean, I get, you know, they want to save space so that they don't have to put a lot of, like, print more pages of instructions or whatever. But there's, you know, saving space and then there's, like, not being helpful. <laughs> but yeah, Ray's nearing completion for New York Comic Con 2016, which is a lot of fun. I've still got, you know, some stuff to work on. I've got to do the arm wraps and finish the, the wrap that goes over here um, and there's a bag that I want to make that goes on the belt and the wig of course which should be coming soon I got a, a very nice wig from Arda since they had a summer sale it's just gonna take a bit to get here since they always have so many orders during a sale and buy a lightsaber I'm, I'm very excited about buying a lightsaber to be perfectly honest so I'm like yes run around with that all over the place. So as I mentioned in my last video, um, I'm helping out at the Kids Museum this summer, uh, just because, you know, they're doing sci-fi summer stuff for their programming, and I got to help out again this month. Originally I was supposed to just be there for the one weekend, but I wound up going an extra Sunday, um, just by chance, which was a lot of fun, but I'll talk about the first weekend that I went first. This month we, my mom and I, that is, because she always comes and helps out too, um, we got to help out with the dress-up area for the kids to dress up, up like aliens. They had like rubber hands and furry feet and tunics so the kids could dress up like aliens and it was really cute um, and it was funny when the adults got involved too. <laughs> for that Saturday of that weekend I pulled out my um, The Moment cosplay for like the first time I think since I wore it for my first Gallifrey one I think. Yeah wow um, <laughs> and it was a lot of fun. I don't know if anybody knew who I was supposed to be or not but it's a comfy costume because it's it's just boots that I get to wear. I get to wear flat boots and I can use my own hair. So it was comfy and it was good. <laughs> One really sweet thing that happened though was um, the dress up area was right by the craft area where the kids were making basically like these headbands and then they had um, cut out circles and pipe cleaners so that they could make like alien eyes so they could put as many eyes on this headband as they wanted and 
this little girl and her friend uh, made my mom and I <laughs> headbands for us because they they just wanted to, I guess, and it was really very sweet. Um, and they put our names on it too, which you know we told them the character names, but I told I just told her Rose Tyler because I'm like that's I'm not gonna try to ex stand here and explain. I'm the moment. I'm a conscience of a of a weapon that could destroy the planet or the universe. <laughs> but I chose the form of Rose Tyler as the bad wolf, you know. Doctor Who's great. I love it. But it gets really bonkers when you try to explain it to people. I did feel a little bad, though, because one little girl thought I was supposed to be Ray. And I was like, oh, no, I wish, I wish. I was like, sorry, no. <laughs> but I guess they are similar color schemes, so, you know. The, sun the Sunday of that weekend, too, was fun since, I mean, okay, so... Parents, if they don't know the show, a lot of times, you know, they kind of group costumes into, like, Star Wars, superheroes, and princesses, which is fine, you know, when that's what your kids watch, that's what you're going to be thinking of, you know, and not everybody knows everything, you know, Doctor Who is getting more popular, but it's not the most popular thing yet, plus there's, like, a lot of niche Doctor Who, you know, whatever. So, you know, once in a while, like, I'll be dressed as Missy or my mom will be Deanna Troy and somebody will be like, oh, look, princesses, which is, it's fine, whatever. And I'm perfectly happy if a little kid asks me if I'm Mary Poppins to say, sure, you know. But then Sunday was fun since I was actually a princess, since I wore my Princess Astra costume. I'm reasonably sure nobody knew who I was supposed to be since it's, like, a really sort of niche Doctor Who, I mean, like, one serial with the fourth doctor. I mean, I know four is one of the more popular ones, but you know, I was like, yes, I am a princess. Thank you. I'm a doctor Who princess, which may be part of the reason why I chose that costume. Shh. The following weekend, I got to un sort of unexpectedly go um, as Missy because they were going to have a proper TARDIS. I mean, as proper as you can get without having the technology to make the actual bigger on the inside. And that was a lot of fun. The guy who was there is 10, um, the first weekend of this event series thing, who, his name is Nick, I know that now, was there too, so that was a lot of fun. And it was nice because, like, people who actually know what Doctor Who is were that were there that weekend, so they actually were, like, very excited to see the 10th Doctor and Missy, even though that's a bit of a strange combination. But, you know, whatever. It was kind of fun, because, um, since... You know, kids were like, oh, is it actually bigger on the inside? And then uh, they went and they weren't, it wasn't, and they were disappointed. So he would explain, you know, well, I can't let her get, I can't let Missy get her hands on it again, because you know what happened last time with the whole paradox machine thing. So that, that was fun. Also fun was the fact that um, we got to walk around the museum and do some stuff a bit. We got to play pinball. We, <laughs> I wish I had a video of this, because it would be so much fun. We went and <laughs> we played... Guitar Hero, because they have uh, an exhibit about uh, video games, which is cool, and, like, arcade games, and then we also went and played Dance Dance Revolution. I wish I had video of that, and it was fun, because I also, even though it was, like, beginner mode or whatever for Dance Dance Revolution, I still beat him, even though I was in heels. That was fun. <laughs> it was also sort of fun explaining to people who didn't know what the big blue box sitting in the middle of this museum was there for, because, um, like I said before... Doctor Who's great. I love Doctor Who. But it's bonkers when you try to explain it to other people. Like, oh, it's supposed to be this bigger on the inside alien spaceship that travels in space and time, but it happens to have the appearance of a, you know, 1960s or whatever police box. <laughs> I mean, people are like, okay. Though I feel like a lot of people have, like, heard of Doctor Who. They just might not know it, but it, it, it was fun trying to explain that to people. I will be back there um, later this month in August um, for what I believe is the final weekend of it, um, and it's supposed to be like astronaut training camp or something fun like that. I might see if I can pull together a quick, like, not science in the library, Force of the Dead River cosplay, um, just because I want to wait until Gallifrey 1 to wear that, plus it's not going to be anywhere near done this month. Um, so that'll be fun. I had a lot of fun this summer doing this um, for them. It's, it, it's just a ton of fun getting to do this sort of thing. Quick note before I wrap up this video, um, read the Doctor Who book reviews that I talked about doing last video and haven't done yet. I am going to do them. I'm going to write down my notes for the video this weekend at some point and then hopefully shoot it next week. And I'm aiming for the 15th to have it up and done by. It might be sooner than that, but at the latest it will be there. Um, I just finished the reread of that book the other night, so... 
yeah, it'll be fun. And I'm going to be doing um, In the Blood, which is one of the newer releases, and it's a 10th Doctor and Donna adventure, so that'll be, that'll be fun to talk about. I really love it. It's such a great story for them. Thanks so much again, everyone, for watching. Um, if you want, you can subscribe so you can see the uh, book review video as soon as it comes out, and leave comments below any questions you might have, then I can try and answer them in my ne next monthly update vlog, if I could speak. So that's going to do the, it for me this month. Um, thanks, so, thanks again, again, so much for watching, guys. I'll see you again soon. Bye!